This is the headless dropshipping starter. It's built with Next.js and it uses Snipcard and Printful to automatically fulfill orders and send them to your customers. So here we have a simple statically built Next.js landing page that includes all of our products and inventory from Printful. Thanks to Printful, we can also provide our customers with different variations of our products. So you see here we have this hoodie available in different colors and sizes. Once I'm happy with the color and size, I can add this to the cart. I can also use Snipcart to increment the quantity of multiple line items. The starter also includes the ability to add items to the wish list. And you can see here a list of all of the products that we've added, and you can also remove them. We have some static pages that are automatically included in this starter for the about and terms of service. You can also implement the sign-in and registration advanced workflows with Snipcart by using a few lines of code. And all of that is outlined in the documentation. Now let's go ahead and fulfill our first order. So I'm going to use the Snipcart checkout. And after adding my shipping info, I can see the different shipping options available. We can choose standard or express. In this case, I will choose the express version and then I will enter my card details. I've connected this with Stripe in the back end, and once all successful, this will then be added to Snipcart and that payment will have been captured through Stripe. And I can learn about more about the transaction by opening the order inside of Snipcart. And then your order will be automatically forwarded to Printful for fulfillment. You can see here that we have the product included in the file mockup that will be printed and delivered to our customer. We get all of the information about who this will be shipped to, and we can see here that we have the different prices for our products. You may have noticed that the prices here are different to what was on the front end. And that is because what was on the front end was the retail prices. And what we have here is what it costs us to ship these products. So you might want to increase the prices here so you can create some kind of profit margin. You'll also want to account for VAT. The starter will automatically handle VAT if you are VAT registered and you've told the application so. If you'd like to learn more about how this works and how you can deploy it, head on over to headlessdropshipping.com where you can find out all of the links to the repo and deployment buttons.